Getting ready to put the European lights on the car, so let me show you those. They're the glass headlamps. There we go. So, yeah, these are by Automotive Lighting. Basically, it's the same as the Bosch one. There's also like Magneti Morelli. They ba they had a partnership, I think, started in the late 90s or something. So, any new replacement parts are AL, but it is basically the same thing as the Bosch. And, uh, yeah, these are in great shape. Uh, brand new, so I ordered them, got them on eBay. The turn signals, those are uh, the darker color, and uh, yeah, you just have to make sure, don't forget to get the light bulbs, so that's a part you have to get. Uh, there's H3, H4, and then right under here is a city light. So, yep, those are the bulbs I got. And... Uh, yeah, I have like uh, the rubbers fitted on here. So that was something uh, I had to get, I had to order. So I already took that out, put it on the, both of the assemblies. And uh, then I have this rebuild kit. So this is something that you would put on the part itself. So let me close this up. Once you secure, uh, yeah, like if you look at the, the side here, this would be like, you know, but you could already see with the existing lights what you could replace. And it has the new bolts for it. So, um, there's also a part on top that's kind of uh, held in place like this, where you put this part in for the top and then you turn it. And so, yeah, I'll be getting these fit in there. The last part that's important to do too is to have these here these are like the six pin uh, connectors and so you can actually just rearrange what you already have in into one of these so they open up you can take the caps out put them in the right place and I'll show that and then that's what goes here on the back there is a, a place here this is the vacuum line and that's for the adjustment so that you can make the headlamps go up and down. I'm not going to hook that up and I, I don't really have that system in, in the car. So I'm just going to tune it by hand. So here and right here, just going to go find a wall, aim it, and it should be good to go. Okay, just about uh, to get started. So this is the current lights you can see. It's the US spec. And I mean, this is... This is not very bright, and uh, since it's all plastic, it just gets all messed up. I mean, I think this this part might have some glass in it, but definitely not strong. It's almost a safety issue, I think. I've already taken the wipers off. I think those are stupid too. Great. So now that I got this here, you know, you can see you can take these parts out. That's one of the things you want to do and just, yeah, whoops, this one's already falling apart. Okay, you can kind of see where it would go, kind of hold it in place. I guess this one still kind of works, but the first thing you'll really want to do is uh, get your eight millimeter socket out and uh, get these get this part off on the bottom so you can get to all the bolts and that is definitely hmm I don't think that's original and uh, you have to get the light off here to get to the, the side where it's bolted in and this is just interesting I'm trying to get it out I'm like what the heck it's not uh, not plugged in or anything it's kind of just a tab you you push and, and this one the tab broke so I guess what the person did is uh, just tied a wire around it and so here I guess now I can take it out Yep. 
so that's definitely interesting. I'm gonna save this part though, even though this is basically trashed. Uh, yeah, so you can see where the tab broke off. Usually you would, when it's in there, you push these two together. Oops, so yeah, this is definitely crap. When I was taking that off too, this piece fell off the side, so yeah, definitely good to replace. And with the glass ones, it doesn't do that. But already now with this off, you can see I can get to a bolt right here, another eight mil. And uh, there's one here on the side. Right here too. And for most cards, it's a little bit of a pain to get to the one on the other side. So, yeah, on this side. Because there'll be like an air inlet or a snorkel in the way right here. And so I'm on, I'm on a diesel. It's uh, different. It doesn't have that. So I can pretty easily just reach in there without a... Uh, if I take the extension off, got it, no problem. So once you get those out, the light just really comes out. There's a connector on the back. That's a four pin. Yeah, up here. So I got the very top. And so uh, it's got the Mercedes symbol on it right here. And so that's the guy we're gonna use a flathead screwdriver to bust open and do a rewiring. So this is the one that the longer screw fits through. And so it is threaded through the metal. And I just used channel locks to get this because this new plastic bit they included in the refresh kit. So I don't wanna use this old one. I mean, the other one fell apart just when I touched it. So this one, if you're standing on this side, basically you turn it counterclockwise. It'll go through the metal, come out the other side, and you just toss it. When I went to put the new hardware on here for where the bolt goes through the longer bolt, I did figure out the right way to do it. So since this is hex shaped, I figured out, well, hey, let's try this. It's 24 millimeter, and that's the perfect size. And so as you get to crank it, you can kind of see this side coming through. And you can kind of do it until you get about like the hole showing there we go so like one like that you know I think that's pretty good you don't want to have it too far because if it is the light will you'll have trouble getting the light in there so yeah you just do that on both sides that's way easier than hammering it out or whatever uh, yeah pretty tight fit though looks like this stuff came off but yeah so I'm just gonna do that to both sides and then I got some interesting wiring issues that I'll have to uh, sort through like I had found this mystery wire and it's coming from the wire that goes to the AC compressor And then you could see just this mess here and It was electrical taped up But the AC compressors only got three lines. There's a fourth one Well, actually, so there's five lines total one of the lines is going to uh, Something over here in the AC I'm not exactly sure what, maybe it's going to ground. But for sure there's one that's just left over and it's just, you know, I cleaned up this when I saw it the first time because it was just bare. But uh, yeah, it never went to anything. So I'll have to figure out where that goes. And then down here too, I'm looking at the ABS. And so some of this wiring too, the insulation is just falling off. So I'll just have to rerun some of that wiring or just make a temp wire right here and, and then uh, crimp it in. All right, now we can get to the actual wiring. So this is where you just take a flathead screwdriver, find the cable that goes to the headlamp, not the turn signal. And uh, also don't mix it up with uh, where the headlamp wiper motor goes either. So in my case, It's got the green tape on it and uh, let's see headlamp wiper is probably this guy and turn signal yeah it's over here in the corner so yeah and <laughs> the caps already fell out 
so now it's just a matter of going through this wiring diagram and uh, so I have some notes the brown pin goes into socket 2 so when you look at your connector here a little bit hard to see but you can see here's connector two so I put the brown one here and then old pin white just make sure I got those colors so yeah I got the brown the white is over here so that one will go in number four yellow goes into number five yep I sure enough got yellow right here and then gray green goes into number six. So I'm just gonna do that off camera real quick. There we go, so I got it. And if uh, you wanted to make it better, you wouldn't do what I did. I just kind of you know, stripped back a little bit of this uh, wire, enough that I can reach the white because that wasn't long enough. And then I just folded the wires over inside of here. So it looks like, looks like shit. So, but it works and it will close. So when you're done, you just close it up and then it's ready to plug in. I think I got the wiring situation figured out. So these are the three lines that go to the either the compressor or the compressor clutch. And here's the other side of that. So yeah, the colors match up perfect. Now what was weird was on the blue wire, which this looks like it's blue, blue green. This wire was just wrapped around it. <laughs> And so, uh, and then it went off into nowhere. So like it was clamped down inside of the fuse box. You can see how it was just like clamped in there. I have no idea why somebody did that. So that's out of the picture now. Uh, this sheath is really like rock hard. It's, it's all messed up. So I'm gonna go and get some new uh, sheath, clip it right here, rewrap these wires. And then the other connector, the fourth connector that's going down goes here to I don't know, is that the dryer? I, I don't know AC components very well. So it goes right here. Uh, the ABS module had a torn ground. Here's the old one. So it was pretty torn up. So I, I made a, a new one here. I just had some brown wire. And uh, yeah, I just disconnected the connector to make it easier to reach and put a butt butt splice on there and then I just put another piece so I can reground it right here below the ABS module all right just about done with the wiring I just got one more to do so yeah this is nice and clean this is the AC compressor or clutch wiring so I uh, just need to rewire these uh, put the I'll just be using these butt splices and then I'm gonna go over it with the heat shrink wrap The lines were so brittle and cracked that I actually just pulled the sheath off of this uh, for the whole thing and uh, Also for the other wire too that goes down here um, And I just redid all of those with that heat shrink wrap you can see like this part I didn't fully close it up and then any spots that I'm uh, worried about I'm just gonna hit it with the Tessa tape and just wrap it real good there so this should be back together and then I can finally get on to yeah this side here and uh, rewiring this one and uh, when I was fitting this side in I was having a little bit of trouble this is diesel specific but this here the vacuum lines they were uh, getting pushed on by the headlamp and uh, then these things were disintegrating these vacuum connectors so I got new vacuum connectors on there too so uh yeah this one is already wired so uh and yeah i did a test it works good so yeah just to wrap up some of this wiring put the headlamps in put the turn signals on and then give it a go back to the headlights this uh piece is included in that headlight refresh kit and so uh on this side it's pretty easy i found you can fit the 24 uh, millimeter socket in here and just turn it until you get the position that you want so that's good on this side it's a little tighter so uh, what I did is I just put the 24 millimeter socket in here and it has a hole that you can fit something through so I just put a Torx through it and then just use this to just leverage it to turn it and that worked out pretty good 
So that got it right where I want it. And uh, now I can actually put the lights in. Most of the way there. So I got both of the assemblies in there. And then I got some pan panels that I got for really cheap at the junkyard that were already filled. And uh, I mean, I, I didn't, I did a paint job on them, but I did a really crappy, just using primer paint. It's fine. This car is uh, not the best paint, but it looks good. There's a lot of just fine-tuned adjustments you have to do when you get this in. And the rebuild kit includes a Torx for this one. I figured I'd use the new bolts, the new hardware, just just because, uh, yeah, it has two smaller ones, like here and here. So you just gotta kinda wiggle it around while it's loose, make sure it's good, then once you can fit this piece in the top and then secure it, then you're good. And uh, basically the way this one works is you can kinda get the thing so that there's nothing, so it's like this position, okay? And then you put it, and then you can see it's it's gonna push these tabs here and here. It's gonna push those under the body when you turn it. So then you just turn it clockwise. And there we go. Yeah, so that holds it in good. Much better. And uh, now I can finally start to put the uh, I can put the turn signals in, I can put the air box back in. So that's still off right now. And uh, yeah, here's some of those vacuum connectors that I was concerned about. So this is a pretty tight fit. I don't know if there's a different adapter for if you have European lights, because this vacuum line is definitely getting squished a little bit. But as long as it works, it's good. So it's, a, it's got a new fitting on it. Here's an example of where you just have to walk through the fitment. And, and so you can see here, I can easily fit my fingernail under there. It's not flush, so this side needs to kind of go forward a little bit. So just gonna have to keep taking it off, push it forward. See, this one's the same one too. This one's got an even bigger gap. You can really see like the yellow label behind here. So I'll just have to get that uh, worked out. Got it about as good as I'll get it today. So this side, there's a small little lip. I'm fine with that, don't care. And then on this side, unfortunately, <laughs> had some problems. I don't know if there's body damage to the car or something like that, but this wouldn't go in. You can hear that's supposed to click. Well, that, when I was going to readjust it, the tabs broke off, the tab that holds it in place. So uh, I tried pushing it extra hard before that too, and then this broke. So I'm just gonna, basically super glue that piece in there and it looks pretty good and then uh, yeah over here I just ran the same solution that was here before to tie it on you know maybe there is body damage and that's why the guy did that is that it won't go click into place right so yeah it's ghetto but I'm just gonna keep it like that okay there's the finished product so overall I'm pretty happy with how it turned out Definitely, it's good quality lights. I still gotta aim them and make sure that all that stuff's good. If you look close, you can see I, here's the part where I super glued it. I'm just gonna leave it like that. It's not a show car. I'm not gonna get a new light. At least not yet. And uh, I hope that while I was in there, I fixed some of the AC issues too. So we'll see how that goes. And thanks for watching.